Hey guys, what's up? Anil here from Learning Led Education and in this tutorial I'm gonna teach you how to write a C program you know, which is gonna check whether a number is a prime number or a composite number. A prime number is a natural number greater than 1 that has no positive divisors other than 1 and itself. Or you know, in other words, we can say that you know a natural number which is greater than one is said to be a prime number if it is perfectly divisible by one and by itself. And if it is perfectly divisible by some other numbers, you know, other than one and itself, you know, then we can say that number is a composite number. So a composite number is nothing but a number which is not a prime number. So in this tutorial what we're gonna do is you know we're gonna ask the user to enter the number to check whether that number is prime number or a composite number. You know once the user enters the number then we're gonna check whether that number is completely divisible by any numbers other than one and itself. If it is so then we're gonna print out you know this number is a composite number else we're gonna print out this number is a prime number. So for example let's assume you know the user is gonna enter a number 7. So what we're gonna do is you know we're gonna start dividing this number you know which is entered by the user. In this case it is 7 starting from 2. So we're gonna divide this number from 2 and here you know this 2 is not gonna completely divide this uh, number 7. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna divide the 7 by 3 and uh, this 3 is also not gonna completely divide this number 7. Now we don't need to check for 4 because this 4 is more than half of this number. So you know if we take the half of this number you know which is gonna be uh, 3.5 and uh, this 4 is greater than this 3.5. So you know there is no possibility that you know a number which is greater than 3.5 can divide this number 7 completely. So you know for example let's say we have the number 100. So at that time you know the range of numbers that can completely divide this 100 is gonna be from 2 to 50 because you know when we come to 51 at that time you know this 51 is greater than the half of this number 100 which is 50. So there is no way that this 51 is gonna completely divide this number 100. So what we're gonna do in this tutorial is you know we're gonna check whether that whether the number entered by the user is completely divisible from 2 up to the half of the entered number. So if it is confusing don't worry you know when we write the program you know it's gonna be clear. So how, what we're gonna do is you know we're gonna write the program. So the variables that we're gonna use in this tutorial are gonna be integer variables and we're gonna have the number you know which is gonna contain the value entered by the user and then we're gonna use a loop in our program. So we're gonna use a counter variable and then uh, we're gonna use another a variable you know, which is gonna help us to determine whether the number entered by the user prime or not. So I'm gonna call it as is prime and we're gonna initialize this one with a value of 0. So if this is prime variable is gonna contain a value of 0 then it's gonna mean that the number entered by the user is a prime number else it's gonna be a composite number. So we're gonna modify this is prime uh, variable in our uh, program. The next thing that we're gonna do is you know we're gonna ask the user to enter the number. So I'm gonna use a printf statement and I'm gonna say enter the positive integer to check for prime or composite and then I'm gonna add a new line just to make it pretty and then we're gonna receive the value entered by the user so I'm gonna use a scanner function and then it's gonna be the percentage d format specifier and then we're gonna store that in our number variable and the next thing that we're gonna do is you know we're gonna check for 
you know, whether the number entered by the user is prime or not. So here, what we're going to do is, you know, we're going to use a for loop and start dividing the number entered by the user from two. So I'm going to use a for and we're going to initialize our counter variable and we're going to start dividing from two. And that's why, you know, the counter is going to be equal to two at the beginning. And then we're going to check for whether the counter is less than or equal to number divided by two. You know, we're going to continue to, you know, divide the number entered by the user up to half of that number. And then we're going to increment our counter variable. So it's going to be counter plus plus. And then we're going to use our if statement here inside this for loop. And we're going to say if, and I'm going to use another pair of parentheses and I'm going to say whether number mod counter is it equal to zero if it is so it's going to mean that the number entered by the user is not a prime number you know it means that the number entered by the user is completely divisible by you know any of the value which will be stored in this counter variable. And here, what we're going to do is, you know, we're going to change the value of this is prime variable. So it's going to be is prime and uh, we're going to change that one to one. And the next thing that we're going to do is, you know, we're going to come out of this for loop. There is no point, you know, checking for some other numbers because once a number is completely divisible by a number, you know, other than one and by itself, you know, it's going to mean that that number is not a prime number. So it has to be a composite number. And then outside this for loop, we're going to use our if statement to check the value of this is prime variable. If is prime equal to zero, then it's going to mean that, uh, you know, the number is a prime number. So I'm going to use a printf statement and I'm going to say percentage D is a prime number and uh, I'm going to copy this uh, printf statement and we're going to use the else part uh, in this else part I'm going to paste that printf statement and also you know we need to refer the number variable here and here also and we're going to say is a composite number and uh, the next thing that we're going to do is, you know, we're going to have a return statement and we're going to return zero. All right. And now I'm going to save this program and I'm going to run this build and run and enter the positive integer to check for prime or composite. I'm going to enter seven and I'm going to hit enter. It says seven is a prime number. All right. Then I'm going to run it again. And this time I'm going to enter six. And I'm going to hit enter button and it says six is a composite number. So this is how you guys can write a program in C programming language to check whether the number entered by the user is a prime number or a composite number. So thank you for watching. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Check out my website for the source code of this tutorial and also you guys can find some other cool tutorials and I'll see you in the next tutorial.